Welcome back to another edition of Christopher's Kitchen. We try to give you something new and creative you can do at home. It looks a lot easier here probably than it really is, but that's what it's all about. It's a new item that's just appeared on the recently released new menu here at Christopher's. That's and right. It's called pastrami sal uh, salmon. Pastrami salmon, that's right. Yep, our new menu is out, fall, winter menu. This is one of the items on it, but the, the technique is the part that's really cool here. We're going to do a little pan smoking today. Awesome. Good. So we've taken some pastrami spices. We've got all kinds of things. I've got uh, celery seed, white peppercorns, black peppercorns. Um, I've got some allspice, some bay leaf, a little bit of cinnamon stick, brown sugar, mustard seed, paprika. So a bunch of these spices we're going to grind up real quick for you. We'll put those there. Going to mix that with a little bit of salt. Got some brown sugar and paprika. Going to mix that up really well. Okay, now that our, um, our pastrami spices are mixed, I'm going to go ahead and start our vegetable dish that we're doing with this. And I'm going to do cold can and potatoes. You've seen these before. It's just uh, mashed potatoes with cabbage and onions. Do a little butter. Got our green onions. And our cabbage. Saute that down. We don't want any color on that. We can go ahead and add our leftover mashed potatoes here. Okay, really nice. Really heavy on the cabbage this time, so it's more of a vegetable. I'm going to add a little bit of milk to soften that up. Okay, and once those are warm, we're just going to hold those. Finish those with a little bit of whole butter and test for salt and pepper. Now we've got our salmon filet, skinless, boneless filet. Just going to pat that dry a little bit. We're almost going to do like a blackened sort of deal. But we want those uh, pastrami spices. We're going to press that into the pastrami spices, just like that. Put right in that pan and just let it sear there. Okay, now that we've uh, sort of browned the other side, we're going to go ahead and add just a, a touch of fat to this pan and turn the salmon over. Because <clears throat> we're searing this, but then we want to get some smoke on it too, so we're going to pan sear it. Now I've got some wood shavings here from our friends at Rafino's. And we're going to smoke this in the pan. What I've got here is a really hot, hot pan. I'm going to, I'm just going to put these wood shavings into the pan until they start to smoke. Okay, now once that's starting to smoke there, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, nice professional piece of kitchen equipment called a pie pan. And I'm just going to place our salmon on top. I've poked holes in that pie pan so the smoke will come through. Then I'm just going to cover that. Now our salmon is almost fully cooked. We just want to do it just like that, just to keep in the smoke. Now we're going to make a very simple sauce for this uh, salmon dish. We have equal parts of dry mustard and sugar and a little bit of hot water. And that is it. Beautifully pan smoked salmon, pastrami spices. Oh boy, that smells so good. Just going to put that right on top there. And then just, oh you can smell that, it's just beautiful. And then just a little bit of this this mustard sauce all around it. All right, Michael, I know you love cold can of potatoes because we've yeah, done that I before. Absolutely do. And that recipe is, uh, is on the uh, website already. But go ahead and I want you to taste a little bit. Of, now, are you, are you a good? salmon fan? Yeah, no, I love fresh, oh, you do. fresh salmon, especially when it's from Lake Somerville. I, think I know that you cook at home. That's cooked just the way we need it. I want you to just taste that with a little bit of that mustard sauce right here. I'm going to make you a little bite if that's all right. All right. Good. You're going to get a little smoke and some of those spices. Now this is one of our most popular tested menu items, new menu well, items. And let me tell you, the smoke flavor does add everything to that salmon. And again, the recipe for the potatoes, we did that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. That's been a favorite of downloads and also it's a pastrami salmon. Our brand new recipe just appeared on the Christopher's menu for fall and winter. <clears throat> My goodness, that is really good. Spicy too, it's good. There'll be another bite after this is uh, over with, I can assure you. If you'd like to access this recipe, all you have to do is go online to do that at kbtx.com. Click on to Christopher's Kitchen and there you'll see all the recipes for the pastrami salmon and the other great recipes we feature from time to time. Chris, that is a real winner and I think you know that. That's a great dish. All right, thanks for making us a part of your morning. Morning for Christopher Lampo. I'm Mike Wright.